August 14th. The reading is entitled, To Build Upon the Foundation, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Ephesians 2.20 let not any man enter upon the work of tearing down the foundations of the truth that have made us what we are. God has led his people forward, step by step, though there were pitfalls of error on every side. Under the wonderful guidance of a plain, thus saith the Lord, a truth has been established that has stood the test of trial. When men arise and attempt to draw away disciples after them, meet them with the truths that have been tried as by fire. And unto the angel of the church in Sardis write, These things saith he that hath the seven spirits of God, and the seven stars. I know thy works, that thou hast a name that thou livest, and art dead. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die, for I have not found thy works perfect before God. Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard, and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Revelation 3 verses 1 through 3 those who seek to remove the old landmarks are not holding fast. They are not remembering how they have received and heard. Those who try to bring in theories that would remove the pillars of our faith concerning the sanctuary or concerning the personality of God or of Christ are working as blind men. They are seeking to bring in uncertainties and to set the people of God adrift without an anchor. Those who claim to be identified with the message that God has given us should have keen, clear, spiritual perceptions that they may distinguish truth from error. The word spoken by the messenger of God is, wake up the watchmen. If men will discern the spirit of the messages given and strive to find out from what source they came, the Lord God of Israel will guard them from being led astray. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you.